The key to identifying the global cities of today and tomorrow lies in access to key data. And in the modern era, we have more tools available for data analysis than ever before. And this ability to access information is growing all the time. We have a huge amount of data available to us, whether it's GDP forecasts, tourism sales. We also have a different type of data, which is the electronic pulses from people's phones can help us understand where people want to be 24 hours a day. And that's quite an interesting thing that you don't normally associate with real estate analysis. We can actually go and look at the portfolios owned by companies and we can assess whether they are in the real centre of a city. I think the demographics are important. If you look at any of the cities within our sort of top 20 of our, of our ranking database, if you look at Singapore, London, Hong Kong, all these places are highly cosmopolitan, but the fact that they're cosmopolitan is a function of the fact that people are attracted to them. We're seeing this urbanisation trend evolve and increase in terms of what people want to do, particularly in the millennial generation. They want to live downtown, they want to be close to the shops, to the restaurants. The idea of moving out into the suburbs is becoming less and less attractive. For the older generation, it's very clear that actually living in the city centre, near doctors, near theatres, near restaurants, restaurants is a lot easier than being out in the countryside. So again, there are multiple drivers, a young demographic as well as an old demographic. The global cities are those where life is lived to the fullest, where people live and work and play 24 hours a day. They are the powerhouses of the present and of the future. The reason these cities offer investment opportunities is because the companies that we ultimately invest in have extremely strong footholds in the markets in question and in specific markets that we like, in specific cities that we like. Looking forward, it is very clear to us that there is one type of city that will dominate the economic growth. And as a real estate investor, you have to be where there is economic growth because then you have pricing power.